Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vanilla Raccoon and welcome to a new series from your new home for entertainment. This is going to be my playthrough of Nature's Beauty, which is a mod pack made by Wells Knight of Hermitcraft. And this is pretty much his take on what Vanilla Plus is. Now, I'm going to start off the very first episode by creating an entirely new world with you. So that way, in the event that you would like to play along with me, which I highly encourage you to consider, then you can go ahead and do so. So my seed for this world is going to be Morgan. Now, I am going to turn cheats on, and that's only so that when I need to enter game mode 3, otherwise known as spectre mode, then I can go ahead and do so and grab a screenshot for my thumbnail for which the video I'm going to be uploading for. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn the bonus chest on, and then from here, we can go ahead and just click create new world. Now this may take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little cut, and I'll see you guys once we've made it into the world. Now before we begin, I thought I would go ahead and share with you some things that I do when it comes to not only preparing to record a new Minecraft Let's Play video, but also just for my casual playthrough. So I'm going to quickly show you what I have my music and sounds options set to. The master volume is cranked all the way down to 40, but just so I can hear any hostile creatures that do go bump in the night, then at least I'll be able to hear it, but it won't be too alarming and make me jump in my seat. Friendly creatures, although they can be nice and chill, I don't want to hear them in my ear. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn the volume down like this. But just so then I can be sure that I did place a block down, I'm only going to lower the sound from 100 down to 80. And then just so I don't have to worry about hearing my footsteps all the time or anything that comes from my player, then I can just have it set at 70. And then for the ambient environment, although I enjoy the sweet sounds of that, I wanted to turn it down only the 40. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look as to where I've spawned at. And we are under the ocean and also here are my coordinates. So if you spawn in the same area as I did, then there you go. But holy tomato peeps. Wow, we're not going to make it to the surface without taking some damage. There we go. And oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag apparently. And also my bonus chest, all the contents within it are scattered about, I hope, right down here. So let's just quickly submerge and pick them up as much as we can, even though it is a little bit dark out and I'm not going to be able to see everything here. I hope that's everything because now we're going to have to get to the top side quickly so we don't end up drowning. If only 1.13 update aquatic was here already, so then I could just swim safely to the surface. Now there is land over this way, so I'm going to begin to head over here. And this is a bit of a swim, and like I said, since we don't have the ability to actually properly swim, which is what we'll be doing in Update Aquatic, I'm just going to go ahead and do another quick little cut. And when I do make it to land, I'll see you guys there. As you may be able to tell based off of what is in my inventory here along with down on the bar, you'll see that I have already begun to gather up some of the materials that we're going to need in order to craft the basic stuff that we're going to need for our Minecraft experience. However, this is a mod pack which means we have some interesting stuff to explore. Now admittedly, I did not do the proper research on anything and everything that is in this mod pack so I'm gonna leave it to you so let me know down below in the comment section or within my discord server which a link to that can be found right beneath the like and subscribe button on this video as to what each and every mod does when we come to it but let's go ahead and quickly gather up uh, not gather up let's go ahead and begin to craft I should say some of our proper gear and actually no I don't want to make another stone axe because I already have one and real one quick little fun fact I'd like to mention is that the reason why I have so many sticks is because apparently they are either just randomly popping up from the ground or something within the world spawns or generates I should say but then it breaks down into sticks. Maybe it's something that has to do with the foliage here, I'm not the large fern I should say. I just realized that um, we have a little box in the top left corner of the screen that actually tells us what we're looking at that's pretty neat that's pretty neat but let's go ahead and continue to finish making what we want and here we go now i'm going to go ahead and just use my wooden axe where did it go oh it's still in my inventory for a moment i thought i placed it within the crafting chest table menu right here for some reason but let's go ahead now and take a look as to what we can make so we could make an apple sapling oh 
I'm going to go out on a limb and suspect that this is going to grow apple trees, which if that is the case, then yay, because I am in dire need of food, as you may be able to tell, because I only have the one apple. But for the beginning of this series, at least, I'm planning on residing right here, and I've already explored the seed. Why did those two items appear on the bar? Anyways, I did explore this seed before actually creating this world with yous on camera. So I already have a fair idea as to what is in our surrounding area. I do know there is actually something really exciting and adventurous off in the distance that way. And did I just see some animals? Yes, I did. And so what I'm going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to begin to get my build on and just establish some type of a small survival house so that we can go ahead and survive our first day. Hey, flamingos, what you doing over there? And when I bring it back, we'll have that set up. And then from there, we can begin to do some. And there we have it, peeps. We have a small modern survival house, which is pretty easy to build. Now, if you are a returning viewer, then you may have seen this in my own Vanilla Plus Minecraft Let's Play series, which for those of you who are new to the channel and would like to check that out, then through the power of YouTube cards, one will be appearing in the top right corner of your screen that you can click or tap on at any point in time throughout this video, and it will take you directly to it. Full disclosure, everything within that series is powered by vanilla stuff such as command blocks and redstone sorcery and it's all possible thanks to the the man the myth the legend the magician wintergrave who is a mod developer that works fairly closely with Escal of hermitcraft and is also the father to certain mods within fullcraft and other mod packs but let's go ahead and take a look as to what we have going around here now we do have tomato seeds and chili pepper seeds growing along these stakes, and that is from the Rustic mod. And I am actually fairly familiar with the Rustic mod, seeing as how it was in the mod pack that we used for the Division Survival multiplayer server back during Season 2. And so, real quick, one thing I did not know though, was in the event that the crops aren't growing, and I'm not sure why they're not growing, I've been sitting here for a little while now, if they're not growing and you have some bone meal to spare, then you can just go ahead and quickly apply it to it, and there you go. And then you can just right click it, and there you go. Your crop will then drop, and then you can take another piece of bone meal and do it once more, and so on and so forth. Now, we are going to have a little bit of a workstation right on this side of our small survival, of our small modern survival house. And I like it because then if we want to, we could just turn in any direction and pretty much have a nice view. So if we want to take a break from working or crafting, then we can at least have a pleasant piece of scenery. Now, I was considering the idea of extending my farm along towards the back of the house so that way that it's going to be hit by the sun at all points of the day whether it be the morning or the midday or nighttime as it's apparently becoming close to being but i think at this point now ladies and gentlemen what i am going to do is i'm going to just survive one more night so hopefully i can gather enough string to make wool blocks and then from there i'll make a bed and then set my spawn within the house because if you quickly take a look at my chat you'll see that i was shot by a skeleton and yes i not only held the l but i also took an arrow to the knee while doing so but to make up for that i did make a lot of advancements throughout our minecraft experience so far so ladies and gentlemen i am going to go ahead and begin to just farm some of the hostile creatures that go bump in the night and when i bring it back then we can go ahead and do some exploring and have a little bit of a chit chat as well Although yellow is not the most appealing color to me at least, I did not want to make a white bed and let it blend in with the surrounding walls. And seeing as how the only dye I was able to craft was yellow, well, beggars can't be choosers. So it does the job and that's all that matters. But since we have that made and now we can lay our head the rest at and make it the day, Let's just go ahead and take a little walk so we can have a bit of a talk. Now, as I mentioned in this video, I do have my own Vanilla Plus Minecraft Let's, Pl Let's Play series that utilizes everything within the game. There are no plugins. There are no mods. Everything is vanilla powered from command blocks and redstone sorcery. But 
I would like to make this new series, Nature's Beauty, a regular reoccurring series here on the channel. So at this time at least, I've been uploading videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what I'm thinking of doing right now is having a Vanilla Plus Minecraft Let's Play series go out on Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Wednesdays, I can go ahead and upload a new Minecraft Let's Build video for you. And then on Fridays is when you can check in at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to find a new Nature's Beauty Let's Play. And real quick, I just want to mention that the Nigerian Dwarf Doe is oh so adorable. We have one fairly close to our small modern survival house, but I may actually bring this guy back just so then I can have another one because just look at them, guys. Just look at them. They are so adorable. Now, as I mentioned towards the beginning of this episode at least, that there is something fairly exciting worth seeing in this world this is it now when i first discovered it i thought it was a sand version of an ocean monument or ocean yeah ocean monument that's what they're called but that's not the case now i've already peeked inside and i've already sort of begun to plan out how i'm going to raid this dungeon but for those of you who would like to already do so then feel free to let me know how you did it and how that worked out for you real quick the doorway for this is on the western yeah that's the west the doorway for this is on the western side of the structure so if you're looking for it then check there first but if it's different within your own world then let me know as well because i'm curious to know how structures generate whether if i give you the seed and then you play along with me if everything will be exactly as it is here in your as it will be in your own world down to the t but i want to at least end this episode off by just mentioning that I am sort of struggling with survival not because of the hostile creatures that go bump in the night or anything like that I'm struggling to survive because I don't have an optimal source of food so I think in the next episode aside from working on our spawn area at least we're going to be trying to figure out a way to resolve that issue because as you can tell I'm living off of raw bird meat and I've been acquiring it from these road runners and I would rather have something that I can harvest than have to chase and run around and deplete my hunger bars because the hunger in this pack is a little interesting in the sense that it's going to be going down fairly quickly and even when I eat meat it doesn't replenish itself like it would as if in vanilla minecraft where if you eat raw if you eat cooked beef or anything like that then it fills up your hunger bar pretty much and also it keeps your sat food saturation fairly high so but that being said ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this oh i forgot to mention i mined up a bone block and i got a skeleton head that's pretty cool so as always ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to this new series then consider giving this video a like and subscribing to your new home for entertainment but do not forget to turn on notifications that way you will not miss a future upload my name is vanilla raccoon yous have been awesome i would like to wish you a happy day and peace out